हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस एन आई टी ट्यूटोरियल बाय वृशाली इन अवर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट मेमोरी पार्टीशनिंग मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट टेक्निक एंड फ्रैगमेंटेशन विथ सम सिंपल एग्जांपल्स आई हैव अटैच अ कंप्लीट ओ एस प्लेलिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक मेमरी अलोकेशन स्ट्रैटेजीज Let's start the session. First of all, thank you so much for such a good response and positive feedback. Please share my channel with your friends and subscribe it. That will be helpful for your NCM exam as well as your interview purpose. Now, in today's session, first we will discuss what exactly memory allocation strategies like first fit, best fit, worst fit allocation. then some sol examples and at the end important question bank now let's see all these topics one by one the first question is what exactly memory allocation strategies so as we discussed earlier in operating system there are multiple process like in your mobile there are multiple apps so every process every app required a memory for execution purpose so operating system decide that where to place a particular process or particular app in random access memory for execution purpose in last lecture we have discuss about the partition allocation method like fixed memory partition and dynamic memory partition also we have discuss the fragmentation errors have occurred so i have attach link of that video in below description box so that video is also related to the memory allocation methods So here in operating system there are total 3 memory allocation strategies like first fit best fit and worst fit so every allocation strategy is having their own advantages and disadvantages this allocation strategies is depends on requirement of particular process and the application now let discuss every strategy in detail let's understand first fit allocation memory strategy see here in this particular diagram assume that operating system divide this particular memory space into the four partitions first partition is 4 kb second partition 20 kb third one 1 kb and next 10 kb so this is called as dynamic memory partitions now suppose process p1 is coming and process p1 required 10 kb memory for execution so as per the first fit allocation strategy operating system start to find out 10 kb free memory space in this particular memory region so they start searching from the first partition see here the first partition is 4 kb so you can't execute 10 kb process in this 4 kb partition right then move to the next partition next is 20 kb so you can execute 10 kb process in this 20 kb region right because this partition is sufficient for execution purpose of process p1 right so from 20 kb they utilize the 10 kb memory for process p1 execution this first fit allocation is good because they find out the remaining or free memory very fastly right but it is a bad because they create the small unused holes for example from 20 kb they used only 10 kb memory for execution so 10 kb is remaining right sometimes what happen this 10 kb is a wastage of memory or they create the internal fragmentation so this is called as first fit allocation strategy operating system find out first free partition to the process that is big enough the second memory allocation strategy is best fit allocation see here in this particular diagram same example same diagram is there see operating system divide this memory space into the four partition 4 kb 20 kb 1 kb and 10 kb now process p1 is coming and p1 required 10 kb memory for execution now as per the best fit allocation strategy 
operating system find out the partition where a particular process is best fitted or less memory wastage is there how see so you can't execute process p1 10kb in this 4kb and 1kb partition right which is not enough so two partition is remaining either 20kb or 10kb so this 10kb process fitted just here in this particular 10kb partition right there is no any memory wastage so this is called as best fit allocation strategy so this strategy is good because less memory wastage is there as compared to first fit and worst fit and it is bad because sometimes they create the many tiny unusable holes for example suppose memory partition is just near to 10 kb like 11 kb is there so only 1 kb memory is wastage right so they create the many tiny unusable holes so basically best fit allocation strategy means operating system find out the partition whose size is greater than or equal to the size of the process now the third memory allocation strategy is worst fit allocation see here in this diagram same example is there so here operating system divide this complete memory space into the five partitions 4kb 20kb 1kb 10kb and 80kb is there right assume that process p1 is coming and p1 required 10kb memory for execution purpose so as per the strategy of worst fit allocation operating system find out the largest hole or largest memory space for execution purpose so which one is the largest memory space 80kb right so process p1 executed in this particular 80kb partition so from 80kb they used only 10kb memory space and 70kb memory space is left over or unused so this worst fit allocation is good because they use large left over space but it is very bad because they may create the more wastage of memory as compared to best fit and first fit so this is called as worst fit allocation they find out the entire list to find out the largest partition in this memory space now this kind of question generally asked in your university exam as well as gate exam in your nsem exam this question asked for 6 marks this is one of the most important question and topic now let's see here what exactly the question see first in your question memory partitions are given assume that in operating system there are particular memory space an operating system divide the memory into the five partitions like 150 kb 650 kb 280 kb 390 kb and 540 kb in order so there are total five partitions are there right next process are given so there are total five process like p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 every process required how many memory this data is given like process p1 required 212 kb memory for execution process 2 required 457 kb memory for execution in this way process 3 process 4 and process 5 right so memory partitions are given and process with how many memory is required this data is given now you have to find out first fit best fit and worst fit algorithm as per this given data now let's see how to solve this see here first step is given data right see this is your given data in your example like total five partitions are there and process five process are there right p1 p2 p3 p4 so this data is given now first step is you have to apply first fit algorithm and the concept of first fit algorithm is you have to find out the first partition in particular memory space that is big enough how see see first first process is p1 p1 required 212 kb memory for execution right so operating system check from the starting of partition see so 
starting partition is 150k so you can't execute 212 kb memory process in this particular partition right now check with the next partition so next partition is 650 kb right so here you can execute the process p1 right so after executing process p1 here from 650 kb memory they required 212 kb memory right and remaining memory is now 438 kb in this way got it now check with the next next process is p2 p2 required 457 kb memory now check here in this way okay in this partition so you can't execute 457 kb memory in 150 in 438 in 280 in 390 right so you can execute here sequentially you have to check sequentially for first fit so you can execute process 2 here in this 540 kb memory region right see here so from 540 kb they required 457 kb memory space so the remaining space is now 83 kb so just check sequentially from first to last now next one is a process 3 so process 3 required 112 kb memory for execution now see here in this way you have to check on the previous partition so 112 112 kb memory execute here on this first partition like 150 kb so from 150 kb they acquired 112 kb memory and remaining is 38 kb got it now check with the next next is a process 4 process 4 required the 5 10 kb memory for execution see so you can't execute 5 10 kb here in this 38 kb uh, 5 10 kb is not sufficient here in this 438 kb memory not here again not here and not here also it means that 5 12 kb no partition is large enough to be allotted a particular process means they generate the error like partitions are full not enough not the sufficient memory for execution purpose got it and the last one is a p5 so p5 required a 326 kb memory see here so not in 38k so you can execute process 5 here in this 438 kb memory right so from 438 kb they required 326 kb memory and remaining data is 112 kb memory clear so this is called as first fit allocation strategy you have to find out the first partition that is big enough you have to start the searching from the first partition now the second step is you have to apply best fit algorithm right so best fit means you have to find out the partition which is exactly equal to or just nearby the particular process required memory execution okay how see here so our first process is p1 212 kb memory required for execution now check here in this particular partition so which one is just near to 212 kb so near 212 kb memory is this 280 kb memory right so when you have execute process p1 here in this 280 kb partition so less memory wastage is there right because we have to find out the best fit allocation strategy which is best fitted or less memory wastage is there so when you have execute 212 kb memory that is process p1 in this particular uh, partition so the remaining is 68 kb memory is remaining right now check with the next next one is a p2 that is 457 kb memory is required for execution so see here which one is the nearest of 457 so nearest is this 540 kb right so you have to execute 457 kb that is process 2 in this particular place and the remaining is 83 kb now next process 3 so process 3 required 112 kb memory for execution so see here in this partition you have to check in the previous partition so which one is the nearest of 112 kb so nearest is this 150 kb right so just execute the particular process in this partition and remaining is now 38 kb next one is a process 4 so process 4 required a 5 10 kb memory for execution 
Now check here in this particular partitions. Which one is near to 510 KB? So 650 K. This is the nearest one, right? So just execute here. So from 650 KB, they utilize 510 KB memory. And remaining is 140 KB memory is there, right? And the last one is a P5. P5 required 326 KB memory for execution. So which one is the nearest one from this partition? So nearest one is, is this, like 390 KB, right? So from 390 KB, they use 326 KB memory for execution. Remaining one is 64 KB. Clear? So best fit means less memory wastage or your process is best fitted for execution at particular partition. Now see, in first fit algorithm, there is process 5 is not executed. They didn't get the sufficient memory, right? But in best fitted, every process is executed appropriately, accurately. Got it? That's why best fit is the best one for memory allocation strategies. Now, step 3 is a worst fit allocation strategy. So, worst fit means you have to operating system find out the largest partition which is available in memory space. See here, the first one is a process P1. Process P1 required a 212 KB memory for execution. So check here in this partition, which one is the largest enough? 650K, right? So just execute here process P1. So from 650 KB, they utilize 212 KB memory and remaining one is 438 KB. Next one is a P2. So, P2 required 457 KB. See here, which one is the largest one? 540 KB, right? So, just executed there. So, from 540 KB, 457 KB memory is used. Remaining one is 83 KB. Next one is a process 3. So, process 3 required 112 KB memory. Now, which one is the largest one? So, largest one is 438 KB. So, you have to find out the just largest partition. Okay. And executed there. So, the remaining space is 326 KB. Next one is a process 4. So, process 4 required a 510 KB memory. So, see here. There is no the sufficient memory space is available. Right. That's why no partitions large enough to execute the process 4. Now check with the next one, process 5. So process 5 required a 326 KB memory. So which one is the largest one? 390 KB, right? So from 390 KB, 326 KB memory utilized and remaining one is 64 KB. See, in worst fit also, process 4 is not executed because they didn't get the sufficient memory. That's why best fit is the Perfect partition allocation strategies. Now, as per previous year question paper, they have asked this kind of question. Partitions are given and process size is given. You have to apply first fit, best fit and worst fit algorithm for 6 marks. So, you have to solve at similar way as per the previous slides. So, this is all about memory allocation strategy. Please subscribe the channel and share with your friends. Thank you. Keep learning.